Hey there viewers and welcome back to Grumpy Monkey Garage where today I am bringing you solutions to tool storage. Okay, so for those of you who are looking at starting a mobile mechanic business because you're going away from the dealerships or the big shops and you want to start your own business, I recommend going mobile because you don't have to pay that overhead of having a shop. However, I've always struggled with having the correct amount of tools and the extra parts to do jobs on deck. And moving it all around is really a huge pain in the butt. And I think I've found the best solution. Voila! This is called a contractor cap. They're made by ARE and Lear. Those are the two brands you can use. There's some sure there's aftermarket ones out there, but those are the two main solutions to this problem. Now, what's great about the tool storage system that they sell, and this is not an endorsed commercial, this is literally just a solution I've found for you guys, is this keeps all your crap right where you put it. It's got lots of dividers and storage bins, which is really helpful for keeping stuff where it is. There's actually lighting up in here if you hook it up as well, which I have elected not to roof rack which you're going well if you're a mobile mechanic what do you need a roof rack for you're not doing any ladder work well we do work in the rain so i put a d-ring over here a d-ring over there out to poles that are in that big top container up there into traffic cones and then i'm able to have an entire workspace next to this truck if i'm in a parking lot i can cover a whole nother parking space so i can work in the shade if it's really hot or i can work in the rain without getting wet so that's a good opportunity for this as well kind of like an awning setup you'd see on an rv now moving to the back of this thing here, and this is where the other setups have failed. You have a nice lockable bit of storage and everything inside of here is contained. None of my stuff can get stolen because it locks. Well, I'm sure it could. You could really be a genius and break into this, but it's unlikely. It's not grab and go theftable like it would get stolen out of an auto zone parking lot. Somebody would have to spend time here playing with it. So it keeps my stuff organized, dry, and safe, and I like that about this. So we've had other setups in the past. I can show you some footage here of my Silverado. We've done a review on that truck as well. Great truck, no complaints about it. This was an experiment on this Ford here. That side toolbox setup worked really, really good for a really long time. I'm not complaining about it at all. What happened though is the summer came around here in Georgia, and those silver side toolboxes got roasting hot. All the tools in them got very hot. You couldn't even touch them. You had to wear gloves to do everything, which sure, that's a safety thing, but it's annoying. Oh, I need a screwdriver for this real quick. Psst, ah! It's just definitely not a good time. Another thing that pairs well with the contractor cap over the side toolboxes there is if I need something in the bed and it's raining, I've got covered. You know, if I need to get my jack out to do roadside, I'm not getting rained on right here. I'm completely sheltered, which is nice. I can do my work. I have a workbench. Better than a workbench, I've also added a trailer hitch vice to this thing to be able to do even more work. This truck has really been useful. Security, the, the weatherproofing, which is nice, and also the, the storage ability. Instead of having those side toolbox where I gotta dig down through everything, these shelves shelve up, so I got vertical storage. Let me show you this other side over here. So this side of the truck is my towards the road side. So this is not stuff that I'd be using immediately. This is stuff that'll take me a minute to get out. But I keep my impact here, my jack stands, I'm jacking something up, my air conditioning stuff, all of my, you know, I don't need it right away tools. It's not an emergency stuff. This is stuff I'm looking for if I've got a minute. The other side is all the sockets and quick serve stuff. But this stuff isn't gonna get disorganized. I'm not worried about my spray cans getting crushed by my jack stands because they're divided. I'm not worried about my jack stands crushing my drills because they're divided. And when this door is shut, they're pretty much shut against this, so they're not gonna move anywhere, which I really like. All my stuff gets to stay pretty much right where it goes. Overall, I've been really happy with it, so I figured I'd share this opportunity. Now the downfalls. Nothing is without its faults, but I think I've come up with a solution to it. Getting in and out of the bed is a pain in the because on the older trucks, like that Silverado we'll show you again, or even my Ford Ranger, as you can see in these pictures, you could just reach over the toolbox and grab something out of the bed and pull it up over the top. It was entirely possible. Can't do that now. Also, if you have something all the way against the cab in the bed and you need it, now you gotta take all your crap out to go get it, which is a huge pain. It's not really very usable. But I hear they're making stuff like Decked makes one and there's some other like truck liner. There's other brands where it's like a giant drawer you can pull out at the tailgate and pull all your stuff to outside. One of the negatives about the camper shell and 
This is only of two, the other one being the bed issue, is you can basically just throw your rear view mirror out. Because if you try to look behind you to see where you're going, well, you can't see anything. You have to use your mirrors, which is fine on a day when it's, you know, nice and sunny out, but not so fun when it's pouring rain and you can't see your mirrors and now you have to back up. So that is something to think about. They do make these camper tops with a window, but they cost almost $500 a window and you need one at the front and then one again at the tailgate to be able to see out. And even still, that means you're seeing through three different layers of glass. How well you, will you really be able to see? So with that in mind, I elected not to get that. When I first started being a mobile mechanic, I had a toolbox laid across the bed of my truck. It was a crossbody box. You can see a picture of it here in my Ranger. They're very, very simple toolboxes and they held all my crap. I didn't have this much stuff. I was limited by what I could do on that, but it was simple and easy to do. So it was a good place to start. Crossbody box might be a hundred to $300 based on where you live and if you're getting new or not. Whereas a whole camper shell like this was 3000 and up depending on what options you got. So it's a little cost prohibitive. Keep that in mind. I hope you found this information useful and we'll see you next time on Grumpy Monkey Garage.